All right, so today I have the humongous Dell XPS 17 in front of me, and now is going to be my unboxing experience of it, because I didn't do an unboxing of the XPS 15, so let's go ahead and get this unboxed. This thing is massive. XPS written on the top as well. And look at how big this thing is. This thing is probably it's bigger than my face for sure. Oh, there's a tab right here. Here we are, man. Look, look at how big this is. <laughs> this thing is a gargantuan, I don't even know. My brain just stopped working after I said that word. So what comes in the box is the power adapter as usual. We have paperwork that no one reads. And then we have a USB dongle that has a USB-A to a HDMI. That's pretty nice, Dell as always. And then we have the huge 130 watt power adapter, my goodness. Charged through Thunderbolt 3 USB-C, so that's cool, cool. And now let's get into the product itself. Sorry, I grew up folding clothes a lot, so. I gotta be cleanly with everything that I do. Whoa, ho, ho, my goodness. This thing is heavy. Ho, ho, my goodness. Wow, this thing is a tank, like the MacBook Pro 16 inch. It even hurts holding it with one hand. Wow, Dell, you have created a beautiful machine. This is like the XPS 13 Big Brother. And it's big brother. Oh my goodness. So let me show you guys what comes on the sides. So we have two Thunderbolt 3 ports on one side. Then on the other side, we have a headphone jack, an SD card slot, and then two more Thunderbolt 3. Dell, look at the bottom of this. Look how many vents there are. Wow. This thing must need some serious cooling. There's even vents on these two sides as well. All right, let me get this thing opened up. Cannot wait to see what this display looks like. Wish I got the 4K model, but... Wow! Wow! All right, let me get this thing set up in Windows. Okay, so I'm in Windows now, and this display is Sorry, I, I don't know. This display is massive. That's all I can really say. Uh, I'm probably gonna be saying that over and over again, but one thing I kind of wish that I got was the 4K model because 1080p looks kind of eh on here. Actually, what I'll do is actually make it a little bit smaller in the settings. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna wait to change the scale and layout to 100% even though it says recommended. This looks way better. Yeah, this looks way better. So first off, um, I'm not sure if this is the same size of the trackpad on the 15 inch, but this trackpad is also massive. And the keyboard size is also the same as on the 15 inch. You're actually not gaining that much real estate in terms of the keyboard being bigger. It's more of the sides of the speakers getting bigger. So I wanna test out the speakers. All right, so I wanna go over the specs of what I got real quick because I forgot since it's been so long since I ordered from Dell. But I have the killer Wi-Fi card, Wi-Fi 6, killer card, kind of sucks, but got to live with what you got. Um, I have the i7-10750H, so it's 6 cores, 12 threads. I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabytes of NVMe storage by Samsung. And then I also have the 1650Ti. You can also get this with the 2070, so if you need more power and want to give Dell more money, you can do that. This is a quick type test of how I feel about the keyboard. It feels, hmm, feels a bit better than typing on the XPS 15. If, yeah, I actually like this keyboard. It doesn't feel as mushy as the 15 and 13 inch. Wow, this thing is massive. But so far, this is a really good laptop and it's, 
It's quiet. I don't hear a thing. I don't hear a fan spinning or anything. Just the design of this, man. Wow. So another thing is that in terms of design, it's actually not that much different than the XPS 15. I would say that it's just bigger, larger. That's all I can really see. Um, the vents on the bottom, there's an extra vent for more cooling just because there's more powerful processors inside of here. Let's go to France, Paris. Wish I could go there right now. It's really loud. Wow. I would have a field day walking through Paris right now. A field day, I tell you. This trackpad is quiet. I really love this trackpad. It's really subtle. It's not clicky like the Service Book 3. I like it. I like it a lot. I like this. It feels like they improved from the quality control issues that were happening with the XPS 15 and just completely eliminated that with the XPS 17. I really like this laptop, but my goodness, this display is massive. Now, if I got the 4K model, my jaw would probably be on the ground the entire time of this video. Um, the 1080p panel, not 1080p, the full HD plus panel looks okay on the 17 inch, but I would recommend people probably go for, actually, I'm not going to recommend people go for that 4k. Um, that's a very expensive add on. I feel like with a computer this big, they should probably give you somewhere between 2k, maybe, um, quad HD plus. So somewhere above 1440p, that would be really good because we're already paying a lot for this computer and I don't think Full HD Plus has a place in this um, price segment. So with all that being said, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video for today. This is my unboxing of the XPS 17 and um, subscribe if you wanna see more content. As always guys, much love. If you're wondering what to listen to on the go, check out Audible. Audible is a free app that offers thousands of titles and each month you get a free audiobook to choose from. Audible also has podcasts, guided wellness programs, comedy, and original content. If you don't know what to listen to, check out my Amazon store and look at my Audible library in the description. I've been an Audible subscriber since 2017, and I find myself listening to books a great way to educate myself, whether it's in the shower, cooking, exercising, driving to work, or just chilling in my bed. Sign up today using my link and get a free month and book.